Okay, let's be honest. I didn't actually read any of those books. Um, because I don't remember the last time I bought a physical book to read. <laughs> Not on purpose, by the way. Anyway, hi there. My name is India. I am a content creator and a book reader. And it's been a long time since I've been here. So welcome back to my channel. Um, I also am a small business owner and I own a candle store. So welcome back. Um, it's been a long time, guys. So... I thought I would start with my favorite books from 2022. I know it's um, we're almost done with 2023 and I'm just now doing this. Do not judge me. Y'all already know when I'm at my best, it's already chaotic. So, might as well read you my favorite books from 2022. Apparently in 2022, I gave a lot of books four stars and above, but still some just stood out more than the other ones did. Um, this is really just going to be a list of my favorites, um, maybe some triggers and um, just like their genre and or tropes. Um, I'll definitely link them all down below. And yeah. So let's see. You guys know I don't read as much as others, but for me, I read a lot. I think I definitely beat my reading goal last year, um, which was, let me tell you, let me tell you. My reading challenge was 48 books. I read 61. Yes. On it. <laughs> anyway, so let's start from the top. These are in no particular order. It's probably just whatever order I saw them on my Goodreads list. So, number one, Flock from the Raven, the Raven Hood number one by Kate Stewart. You've probably heard about it, you've seen about it, you know about this book. It is a romance book. I'm going to say more of an edgy romance over really a dark romance. Um, edgy. Gave it four stars. Um, next up is, number two is This Man, This Man number one by Jody Ellen Malpass. It is romance. It is a dark romance. I gave it five stars. Um... Number three, Lords of Mercy, Royals of Forsyth University, number three. Though, Angel by Angel Lawson, I love this entire series, so make sure you start with book one and two, because it, it, they, they do need to be read in order. It's not like standalones. They need to be read in order. But I love this entire series. It is romance. It is dark <laughs> romance. Dark romance. Lots of triggers. All the triggers. Bullying non-consensual consensual sex non-consensual sex a lot of triggers so please just be mindful of that i gave it five stars oh my phone look at this look what my phone just did you see this oh hey that's my husband <laughs> Okay, to continue on with number four. Number four is Crave. Crave number one by Tracy Wolf. It is fantasy. It is young adult. I gave it four stars. Um, number five, Chasing Love. Um, Dark Love number one by Kat T. Mason. It is romance. I gave it five stars. Number six, the Madison Kate series. The whole series not just one, two, three, or four. Madison Kate series by Tate James. Um, romance. It is dark romance. It is a reverse harem. And I gave it four stars. Mm, number seven. Allison's Adventures in Underland. Harem of Hearts, number one by C.M. Stunich. It is romance. It is dark romance. It is reverse harem. It is an Alice in Wonderland reimagining. I give it four stars. Um, number eight, Kings of Chaos, Dirty Broken Savages, number one, by Eva Ashwood. It is romance. It is dark romance. It is reverse harem. And I gave it five stars. Um, as you might tell by some of these books, I went down a reverse harem rabbit hole. It's 2023 and I'm still not out of it. Come at me, bro. 
Um, the next one is number nine, Queen of Anarchy, Dirty Broken Savages number two by Eva Ashwood. It is romance. It is dark romance. Reverse Harem. I gave it five stars. Number ten, Sin and Chocolate, Demigods of San Francisco number one, K.F. Breen. Romance. It is romance. It is bleh. It is romance. It is fantasy. It is four stars. It's so weird because I was definitely, so like the main character is like, I think part Irish. The main male lead I think is part Irish. And I started reading this series either on the way to or on the way back from Ireland. And at the time when I downloaded this series, I had no idea it was, <laughs> the main male character was part Irish. Just, bye backs. Anyway. Um, 11, Dating Dr. Dill, If Shakespeare Was an Auntie, number one, Nisha Sharma. Actually, I have that physical copy. I could have done the whole <laughs> Dating Dr. Dill. <laughs> That's actually exactly how the narrator sounded on the audiobook, so you're welcome. By Nisha Sharma. Uh, <laughs> it is romance. It is enemies to lovers. It's fake dating. Um, five stars. Number 12, Glutton for Pleasure. Pleasure series number one by Alicia Ray. It is romance. It is menage. It is five stars. Okay, so those are 12 books. I mean, I read a lot more and a lot more books I read last year were four stars. Um, some were a solid three stars, but these are just the ones that like I stood out going back through my list months later. and I was like, oh, love that book. So good. So good. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I didn't give any of them Steam fans. Apparently I didn't write them down. I'm trying to do better about that this year. Um, thank you, Steph, for the Steam fans um, ratings. I just don't think I know how I'm going to rate them. But I guess it all just depends how they make me feel. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias. I've been doing terrible at them. I'm trying to do better now that I'm out of my depressive episode. So until next time, keep turning the pages.